Hi. The purpose of this video KB is to provide information on how to create the L nested LDAP group in the Microsoft Active Directory and to configure the same in the Power Center admin console. This is applicable to Power Center 8.6.x and Power Center 9.x. The agenda of this KB is to show you how to create the LDAP subgroups using the Microsoft Active Directory and to create an LDAP group and also to add those subgroups into this group so that it becomes a nested group and then configure that in the Power Center admin console. To create the LDAP nested group, I have logged into Active Directory users. I'm going to click on, I have already configured my server information. In that, I'll just right click on my server, go to new, and I'll start by creating an organization unit. Uh, if you already have this, then you don't have to create one. do a refresh so that it pops up now I'll click uh, right click on my organizational unit click on new and go to group I'm not going to change any group scope or group type at this point because I'm creating the subgroups at this time to create another subgroup with the default options once the subgroups are created I'm going to right click and now I'll create a group And I will change the scope, group scopes to domain local and click on OK. Once the group is created, right click on it and go to the properties tab and select the members. Now here we can add the subgroups. apply okay and this is how we create a nested subgroup in the LDAP browser now I will show you how to configure the nested LDAP group in the power center for that first log in to the informatica admin console power center admin console Go to the security tab once it's loaded. And then to the actions, LDAP configuration. Here I have already provided uh, my LDAP Microsoft uh, server information, uh, which is the server name, port, or the Microsoft Active Directory, the name, password, member, you can test the connection once it's valid go to the security domain tab and add the nested LDAP group for that you can just click on add and provide the LDAP name nested LDAP group or whatever you want to and then uh, add the user search base so this is what we have created the organization unit which is one underscore nested group and the base URL and the user filter you can change it according to your requirement and once it's uh, you have added that information just click on the preview to make sure that you are seeing the 
nested LDAP groups which is and the subgroups and click on OK now synchronize click on synchronize now so that it pulls out the data so once you open it it's still loading once you click the synchronize now it will synchronize I will give grew, give a nested group where you can see the nested group and the subgroup 1 and subgroup 2 and based on your requirement you can actually give the permissions to the privileges uh, or the privileges so if you click on nested group in the overview we ca you can see that you the group has two users subgroups and then you can go ahead and provide the privileges you can also create a subgroup under a subgroup with the same way In case if you have any questions or comments, please leave us at supportvideos at informatica.com or https colon slash slash twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you. Bye.